A wildland fire is reported. A dark colored, medium sized column of smoke in the timber. Initial attack resources are dispatched. While en route, the initial attack responders discuss what they're likely to find based on what they know, the current weather and fuel conditions, the reported location, and the size and color of the smoke column. The first resource on scene gives a quick size up. Dispatch, engine 7461. We're on scene of the incident 442. The fire size is approximately three acres. It's burning in brush and timber and heavy dead and down. Fire behavior is creeping and occasional torching. The reported location is good. Keep all the resources in route. The current IC is Smith and I'll get back to you with the full size up shortly. For initial attack firefighters, the ability to quickly and accurately size up a fire is a key skill. No one learns how to do it overnight. It takes time, experience, and training. To do it well requires a thorough understanding of fire behavior, firefighting tactics, resource capability, risk management, and more. Because of this, it's a skill that firefighters work to continually improve over their entire careers. The National Wildfire Coordinating Group Glossary of Fire Terms defines size up this way. A size up is an evaluation of a fire to determine a course of action for suppression. Put another way, a size up is a specific way wildland firefighters are trained to assess a fire before taking action. This process of assessing and evaluating a fire has two primary functions. First and foremost, it's a method to help firefighters make smart, safe, tactical decisions. Secondly, it standardizes the way we communicate the situation to others, to incoming resources, dispatch, duty officers, and fire managers. While there are many different size-up aids or size-up report formats, they all take into consideration the factors that influence fire behavior, firefighter and public safety, and communicate incident information. This typically includes incident location, fire size, fire behavior, fuel type, fire cause, weather and topography, hazard and risk management concerns, additional resource needs, values at risk, and the name of the incident commander. Often, the first on scene to the incident will give a quick size up report over the radio to dispatch that communicates basic incident status information, such as the fire's location, size and behavior, who the IC is, and what their immediate additional resource needs are. This is typically followed up with a full size up report that includes more detailed incident information. Legrand, crew 74 on acres. Crew 74, Legrand. Yeah, we got a full size up for you when you're ready to copy. You're ready to copy. I see will be Swedeen, size, spot behavior smoldering, potential low break. Lat long will be 45 degrees, 34 decimal 580 minutes by 117 degrees, 28 decimal 518 minutes break. Fuels is grass, wind speed zero to five out of the south, southwest. Slope position, lower third, brake. Slope percentage, 20 to 40%. This is on a north facing aspect. Hazards are a snag tree, cause lightning, and no special needs at this time. How do you copy? Decimal 518. And can I get a name for this incident? Yeah, this will be the Lone Pine Fire and the elevation is 3,300 feet. Copy, Lone Pine Fire, 811. There is no set amount of time it takes to complete and report a size up, but they are time sensitive. For initial attack, a size up that takes too long to complete can result in a missed opportunity to catch a fire while it's small. This is important because if the fire can be contained and controlled while it's small, it means fewer firefighters are exposed to danger and the damage to the resource is minimized. On the other hand, if the size up is rushed, it can mean missing important information that unnecessarily exposes firefighters to increased danger. This means that there is a sweet spot between taking too long and not taking enough time with a fire size up. 
A solution to this difficulty is to give a quick initial report over the radio to dispatch and then scout the fire to gather more information about the situation. This quick report gives incoming resources a heads up and gives dispatch and duty officers the information they need to support your incident. The specific conditions discovered through the size of process guide decision making and action taking. We communicate our findings through a report over the radio to dispatch and by briefing resources on the fire. What is found shapes our decisions and our plan of attack, both the tactical plan and the risk management plan. This information not only guides the plan of the fire, it helps determine the big picture planning and support work of dispatch, duty officers, and fire staff. In other words, the accuracy of the size up has ramifications all along the chain of command. Fires are dynamic changing events. Conditions are in a constant state of change, sometimes gradual and slow, and other times sudden and immediate. Because of this, size ups are both an initial assessment and an ongoing process of evaluation. This means that incident commanders must think in terms of both the current and future state of conditions on the incident. An output of ongoing assessment are the incident status updates, periodically reported over the radio to dispatch and to firefighters on the incident. Establishing trigger points and LCES also reflect this understanding of changing conditions. Learning to be proficient at sizing up a fire takes time. It requires putting into practice all of our wildland fire training and applying all of our past wildland fire experience. As a first step, beginning initial attack incident commander trainees work under a trainer on low complexity fires to gain on the job experience. Process what you've learned through a group after action review and through a one-on-one -on -one performance appraisal with your trainer. There's a simple way to practice size up without actually being on a fire. During the fire season, work with a mentor. Travel to a location in your response area. Agree on a fire location and fire perimeter. Develop your size up based on current conditions. Work through the size up process. Describe the fire behavior. How would you attack the fire? How would you ensure firefighter safety? Discuss your assessment and plan with your mentor. Consider what you did well and where you could improve. Repeat the process as often as you can. Practicing fire scenario size ups will help prepare you for your first incident commander training assignment. And when you're on a fire, observe the size up process in action. How well was the picture painted for you? A good place to find information for further discussion on the size up process can be found on the National Wildfire Coordinating Group's Six Minutes for Safety webpage.